It's another episode at Norda Vista and VTV bringing all of the news. We're back in better hope you didn't miss us. Be a great student, it's all up to you. Tune in, cause we're doing the most. Best shows and the greatest hosts. Updates on your very own school. TK on the track. Culture, art, sports, academics, future news made by students at the Woodsville School. Stay anticipated, never know what's coming towards your way in your second period. Always gonna be an interesting topic for us today. Welcome back, Novi. I'm your host, Adam. And I'm your host, Jaden. We hope that you had an amazing Thanksgiving break. We have less than three weeks until the end of the semester. That means winter break is right around the corner, but it's more important than ever to keep your grades up and finish strong. Don't forget that we have morning tutoring in the library every day before school for those who need homework help. Talk to your teachers and counselors about the opportunities to help boost your grade before it's too late. Did you watch any good movies before break, Jaden? I watched Home Alone. How about you? Yeah, I checked out Mean Girls. Before break, we asked some of our NVTV community what their favorite superhero movies are. Let's hear what they had to say. Uh, what's up, NVTV? I'm Brian, and today we're asking people what their favorite superhero movie is. So who am I here with? Davion. All right, Davion, what's your favorite superhero movie? Me personally, I'm about to go with The Amazing Spider-Man 2, bro. With like Andrew that. Garfield, that shit's fire. I like that. I like that answer. All right, thank you. All right, so who am I here with? Exiree. All right, so what's your favorite superhero movie? Um, Avengers Endgame. Why is that your favorite movie? Um, because it has, like, a bunch of the superheroes, and it's really cool. Who's your favorite character? Um, Iron Man. I like that. I like that. All right, so who am I here with? Emmanuel. Alright, my What's your favorite superhero movie? So my favorite superhero movie has got to be Avengers Endgame. Uh, my specific character has got to be Iron Man. The reason why I like Iron Man is because Iron Man was like my favorite character when I was a kid. So I just liked Iron Man. Alright, so who am I here with? Uh, Joseph. Alright, Joseph. What's your favorite superhero movie? Uh, Batman. Why Batman? It's the first one that came up to my head. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Alright, so who am I here with? Uh, Servando. All right, so what's your favorite superhero movie of all time? I feel like my favorite superhero movie of all time uh, has to be No Way Home. Uh, when I went to the movies, I was, I was hyped, like I was screaming, like I was crying, but like we didn't, we don't talk about that. And it was fun, honestly, it was like my be the best movie I've ever watched in my life. And yeah, I feel like that one. I like that response. Hey, thank you, man. All right. Thanks for sharing, everyone. PBIS Club is selling teddy bear grams for just $5 to raise money for awesome PBIS prizes and incentives that they provide to students all year. The sale is happening just this week. Let's find out more. What's up, Novi? It's Evelyn, your PBIS president, and I'm here to advertise our holiday grams. So basically, our holiday grams are cute Christmas teddy bears that we have, and we will be wrapping them in cute little Christmas themed bags, and we will be sending them out to you guys. So you could buy these for $5 and we will be selling them before school in the morning and during both lunches. And this will be happening from November 27th to December 1st. So make sure you go buy your bears. Don't forget to bring your $5 and order your teddy gram tomorrow. There will be a drama club meeting in room 804 after school today. All are welcome. Come on by. And the new scriptwriters club will be meeting during second lunch in Mr. Smith's room. Come help write a feature-length script for teens by teens. Seniors, please remember to visit your counselors during second lunch at the Braves Lounge for extra support with college applications this month. Remember, CSU and UC applications are due November 30th. That's coming up quickly. And don't forget that Puente and No Way Dreamers' ninth annual toy drive is going on. The toy drive provides over 400 toys to students at Arlanza Elementary. To donate, please scan the QR code provided in the, in the toy drive flyer. Earn house points for your donation. Help make a children's holiday brighter no we. Hi everyone, my name is John Michael and I am the past NBT editor and host. Uh, during the COVID era, uh, 2020 to 2021. What I finally remember about the crew is the closeness we had among each other. Um, when we had to connect or we were working on really large projects such as the VAPA segments or the sports segments, everyone was willing to kind of branch out and figure out ways that they can help. Advice I would give to future NVT NVTV crew members is to get out of your personal comfort zone. Um, it's 
kind of ironic coming from someone who doesn't like going out of things that they're comfortable with. But the fact of the matter is, in life, you're going to have to do things that you're not comfortable with. Currently, I am studying economics as a major. Originally, I was a cyber defense plan C, which meant that on a national scale, I would be in charge of making sure that our cyber network was secure and safe. But I did some lessons. I failed like one class and I found out that it wasn't for me. So I changed to economics. I am also getting a, well, two degrees in social and behavioral science as well as in journalism um, from the fall of 2021, which is when I graduated from Norte Vista up until last semester the clubs. I'm the club current club treasurer for Red Cross, which is a community-based organization. Obviously, based off of the name, you think of like blood drives, uh, community and humanitarian services. We do a lot more outside of that, such as helping out at community outreach things, such as food banks. We do help. We did help recently at the Mission Inn run. Uh, we were just giving out water, setting up tents, breaking down things, all the basic stuff. We helped at a Pride convention back in August, I believe, either August or October, or November. Sorry. But we do do things outside of the medical field, so it's not just purely stuff to do with like medicine, but th we are doing CPR training uh, this upcoming month, so that'll be interesting. And besides that, I am also the Inter-Council Club representative for the Asian Pacific Student Union, and basically what that means is, uh, as an ICC rep, I represent the club as a whole. So there's different positions for board members, which are people that are in charge of the club, um, this ICC person will go to the meetings and just represent the club, do the voting on behalf of the club, give any updates, receive any updates that the student body wants to give you or that the school wants to give you, and it's a very um, streamlined process. I have also completed three certificates. Um, one was in workplace, workplace ethics, another one was in Microsoft Word in Office, just using like the Microsoft um, softwares, very basic. But the one that I'm most proud of is financial literacy, since obviously I am going to be an econ major. So I, uh, overall, dipping my toes into NVTV was a great opportunity to, as I said, grow my community outreach and it was a crucial stepping stone in my life to create more opportunities, um, such as working at RCC, uh, becoming part of the Viewpoints team, which was through a past um, alumni of Norte Vista, and even growing as a person uh, in the professional field. Thank you for your time. That's all for today, Novi. Remember to stay safe, stay positive, and most importantly, stay, stay brave! brave.